Welcome back to Infigar, my dear friends. In today's video, we have another very, very interesting question from algebra. Here we have to find out the unknown A. If known equations are x plus 1 over x equal to 3, x power 18 plus 1 over x power 18 equal to A times A square minus 3. So let's get started. I will consider squaring both sides of the given equation x plus 1 over x equal to 3. Now I can write a plus b whole square formula which we know it is a square plus b square plus twice a b. Let's apply. So I can write x square plus 1 over x square plus 2 times x times 1 over x. This will be equal to 9. Now x and x will be over. So I can write x square plus 1 over x square plus 2 equal to 9. Or I can write x square plus 1 over x square equal to 9 minus 2 which will be 7. So from here we will be having our first equation x square plus 1 over x square equal to 7. Equation number 1. Let me write x square plus 1 over x square equal to 7. Now I will consider squaring once again. So I will be writing x square plus 1 over x square whole square which will be 7 square. Again a plus b whole square formula will be applicable. I will write x square whole square which is a square plus 1 over x square whole square which is b square plus twice a b equal to 49. Now x square x square will be over. Using exponent law a power b whole power c we can write a power b c. So here we will take 2 times 2 and here also we will write 2 times 2. So I can write x power 4 plus 1 over x power 4 plus 2 equal to 49 or x power 4 plus 1 over x power 4. This will be equal to 49 minus 2 47 which will be our equation number 2. Let me write here x square plus 1 over x square equal to 7 x power 4 plus 1 over x power 4 equal to 47. Now I will write x power 6 plus 1 over x power 6. So I can consider x power 6 as x square whole cube plus 1 over again x power 6 x square whole cube. Now we know that a cube plus b cube formula. It is equal to a plus b times a square plus b square minus ab which we will apply in our RHS. Let us apply. So I will write a plus b. So a is x square here. So x square plus 1 over x square times a square x square whole square. So x power 4 plus 1 over x power 4 minus 1. Now we have 
both known values x power 2 plus 1 over x square it is 7 x power 4 plus 1 over x power 4 it is 47 which will be applicable here let's apply so i will write 7 times 47 minus 1 equal to 7 times 46 and this product will be 322. Now this is x power 6 plus 1 over x power 6. Now I will consider cubing of this equation to get our LHS. Let us consider cubing both sides. So I will write x power 6 plus 1 over x power 6 equal to 322 whole cube this side and this side now i need to write a plus b whole cube formula it is equal to a cube plus b cube plus 3ab in bracket a plus b so i can write here a cube so x power 6 whole cube plus b cube so 1 over x power 6 whole cube a cube plus b cube is over plus 3 times x power 6 times 1 over x power 6 in bracket x power 6 plus 1 over x power 6 and RHS is 322 whole cube. Now I will use the same exponent law a power b whole power c it will be equal to x power 18 6 times 3 plus 1 over x power 18 plus 3 times x power 6 and x power 6 will be over and x power 6 plus 1 over x power 6 is 322. So I can write here 3 times 322 equal to 322 whole cube. Now I will take this term to the RHS and the remaining this is our expression required. So I can write here x power 18 plus 1 over x power 18 this will be equal to 322 whole cube minus 3 times 322 if i will take 322 common out then in bracket it will be 322 whole square minus 3 you can see here our RHS is a times a square minus 3. Once I will compare both, I will write a will be equal to 3, 2, 2. This will be our answer. I hope friends you will like this video. Thank you so very much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Till next video, goodbye.